Chris, how difficult was it for you personally to move on after Paul's passing? It was extremely difficult. However, I think it was a little easier because we were all together. Yeah. And I think that's what was so important about not only this cast, but just about the chemistry that we have in the movies because we are like a real family. So the, the fact that we have this bond and we were able to, you know, mourn together as a family, it helped us each out individually. Yeah, and Van Diesel named his daughter after Paul, Pauline. Yeah. Yeah, and I know you were also very, it's a beautiful baby, you were also very close to him. Do you have a last memory, last time you spoke with him? And we shot a scene in the movie about seven days before his untimely death and uh, the conversation that we had because, you know, we were in a car together in the scene and we just were doing it over and over and we had a good hour conversation and it was just about life and about progression and about family. And, and, and every time you talk to Paul, he has such a big heart, the conversation would always come back around to him wanting to give back to the world in, in a certain type of way. So that was my best memory because it was the last one. What did he teach you? He just taught me, I mean, we, we teach each other. Yeah. We, we taught each other a lot just about our, our foundations and about philanthropy and giving back. But I think he taught me more about you can be in Hollywood but not be Hollywood. You know what I mean? That was the best thing he taught me <laughs> because he loved he loved his craft, he loved acting, and he loved doing things, but he was very secluded. You know, he was like be, being Hawaii and surfing, and he loved being in Santa Barbara, and he was just like quiet to himself. But when it came to work, he was there. So he didn't have to be a part of this whole Hollywood persona, so to speak.